What's up? Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're here. Uh, welcome back to another night. Uh, it is night. We're yeah. back. We're back in our bed. We're we're back to our original setup altogether, yeah. right? We changed we, it up last time, but we, now it's back here. The last two times we had a mixer, we had two mics, and this week we're we're back to the we're back to the dongle without power, yeah, we, and we're back uh, to the blue microphone, black one. Um, yeah. Well, the we're miss some. The black hole absorbed one of our other dongles. The so. the black hole absorbed the dongle that uh, can take all the power in the world, and uh, so we're we're back with this. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, my brain took a, a train ride. You thinking about black holes? No, <laughs> it's because the dongle, and then it makes me think of this. So there's this really goofy description, scientific description of a fish, and then I went to a different fish meme. Whoa, let's go back to the... Okay, what's the scientific description? Of, what do you mean by it's that? It's really goofy. It's literally sounds like the plumbus stuff. Like, the dongle is attached to the scrotal of the global snowman. It's just... I gotcha. I gotcha. And, but it, my brain took it all the way to another meme of the fish. Dorsal's a weird word. Whose scientific name is Boops Boops. <laughs> According, so I think it's an edited Wikipedia page. First of all, their scientific name is a is Boops Boops. Boots Boots. Boops. Boops Boots. Boops Boops. So Boops twice. Yes. So someone took that. I'm pretty sure that is an edited Wikipedia page that someone screenshot and it just made its way around. But someone took it and said, hello, my name is Boops. Boops, Boops. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. No, it's in mind forever. You know what? That's pretty funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's some really good James Bond spoof things. The name's Boops. Boops, Boops. Boops, Boops. Boops, Boops. Boops, Boops. Boops, Boops. Boops, Boots. Boots. Tits. Titties. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll count us in. How about that? Sure. It's neat. <laughs> San, Oyasumi, welcome, children of the night, to yes, the. I must say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yep. Uh, we should we should slowly introduce more and more Japanese shit to 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 our everyday uh, to our everyday broadcast. Yeah. Well, every week broadcast. Um, I think we should introduce like uh, I think we should introduce like segments. I think we should yeah. have like a. Uh, you see your Japanese so Japanese themed segments yes I am yeah. one quarter Japanese I'm just white I mean I'm white but well so that's the thing that blows me away is you're you you are considered the is, I mix up the words all the time but I in my head it's passing white but it might be white passing which one is it uh because you're Quite a bit of Asian. But you if you look, look at white, my face. But you look white. Right. But yeah. I I mean, I am. White? Right. Partly, yeah. Yeah. But you've got quite a bit of Asian in you. Yeah, you can. De- I think you can definitely see it in... I do, just because, like... In my face, but... I grew up with... Ironically, I grew up with that culture. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, your dad's from Malaysia, so yeah. Well, not like not fr- blood wise. Like he, well, that's what I talk about a lot, though. Actually, with him is he grew up as a Malaysian. He didn't know any different. Like he played with Malaysian kids, and everything. like he 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 can very well claim to be Malaysian because he was a baby when he went there. In culture, yeah. I mean... No, yeah, not, like, right. literal nationality, but, like... Right. Culture. 
That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Not, no. Yeah. Look, I'm not claiming to be one. I'm just. I'm just saying. I am a quarter Japanese. That is, those yeah. are the facts. Um, I mean, your mom is like, she, she looks fully Japanese. Yeah. You wouldn't guess she was uh, half Norwegian. My brother does too. Uh, Brandon. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. We just came back from, (laughs) we just came back from dinner. Uh, I'm really tired. We had some wine. We're full as fuck, dude. I'm sleepy. We went to Fogo de Chao. Great place. It's amazing. Um, and if you've ever been to Fogo de Chao, it's, um, like, uh, so you go there. It's it, it's pretty expensive. I should warn you ahead of time. Well, yeah, it's fine. We, we kind of I mean, went fine. crazy. Was, yeah, we not we're, crazy. We just went all out for a nice. We night. went. We went all. I wanted to treat Aaron, right? I wanted to go all out on a nice night. And uh, what do you think? It's amazing. Right, and I was saying before, if you've never been there, you base you go and there's like. A salad bar t- type of thing, would you call it's, it? It's almost like if you could put a charcuterie board into a buffet. Right. So you can get like salad and then you can get like slices of meat and cheese. and. So it's a buffet, really. It is a buffet, but it's not... It's an expensive every- golden corral. Yeah, basically, except, except they bring like freshly cooked like sizzling meat to you yeah. on, on spears yeah. to your table and are like you want some and they, <laughs> and they carve it off. off for you and so and this it's is super filling i ate so much it is filling but it's so good um the steak was the best the steak was the best besides the pork ribs right i tried lamb again okay and i like it better than in the when i was a kid and and tried it but I'm still not sold on lamb. I've got to tell you, it's not my favorite meat. It it tastes like uh, goat's milk. Actually, I should say that I should take it back because it depends how it's prepared. Right. Because I really love the way lamb. It's almost like lunch meat, but when it's in gyros. Right. It's like a it's like a lunch meat lamb, and it's. I love that. See, that's actually why I got the lamb is because I want euros with uh, lamb. with lamb in it, but I've never been able to order it because I'm so scared because I don't like a lamb that much. I think you like it now, though. I think you should try it. It's different in gyros than on its own, like right like as a a, a fillet. Because every time we go to a euro place. I, I look at the menu and I go, get lamb, get lamb, get lamb. And then there's this little yeah. part of my brain that goes, fuck it, get the steak or whatever. Yeah, whatever. And I'm like, I'll have the steak one and I'll be like, and then my brain will go like, you fucking fine. pussy. That's fine too. But lamb is really good. But Excuse I feel like the, the lamb is the, you know, what you get with the, like, I, really good. I feel like, I mean, I don't know, but I feel like. Uh, you like people who are like euros are their thing. It's like if you don't get a euro with lamb, it's not a fucking euro. No. Like, you know, just like if you don't get champagne from champagne, it's not champagne. You know what? We should ask actually Ray of good ways to cook lamb. Yeah, yeah. I know he has cooked lamb. A good friend of ours. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he made. You remember the picture he sent of of the the lamb. Yeah. Shanks. Yeah, I do. Look good. Yeah, it does look good. But but I want to get more intimate with lamb. I want to trick I myself like into in, liking it. In Greek food, it's really good in Greek food. Yeah, I think I've had it in Greek food, and I. But I've there's liked a lot it. of seasoning, and it's prepared differently. Than and I think I've even had goat cheese in Greek food, and I've liked <laughs> it. And I hate. You hate goat cheese. No, uh, there's we got nothing it at, I hate more we, than goat cheese. We got the at um. Alexis, where they they literally so they bring you the melted goat cheese mm-hmm. and it's oily and it's fresh off being melted 
Right. And um, it's li- literally oily and like on fire, and they squeeze a lemon over it, and it flares, and then it's like opa, opa, and they give you yeah. your flaming cheese. It's so. What red. if someone gets PTSD while <laughs> this is happening, and they they think about the war? Most people that they, ordered that there know what's gonna happen. They're packing heat and. They just go, know. they shoot off into the air, go, ah! That ha- I'm sure that happens everywhere, though. <laughs> if you're oh, you mean if you're that. If it's that bad. If it's that bad. You're probably getting triggered all the time. And that, and, and you're probably not going to a nice, uh, nice Greek no, restaurant. I doubt you're going to a Greek restaurant. I don't know. It could happen. It could happen. It does happen. Anyway, I got extreme anxiety at Fogre de Chao. I've, I've got to say, what? it's a gr- yeah, not extreme. I okay, I I use the word extreme a little, a little, um, a little uh, loosely. Loosely, but I uh, I love. First of all, I'd like to say I loved it. We got a server. Uh, who was new? Who was that? Was her first table but that she ever opened? She did great. She did great, and we told her that, and we're like, "You did fucking great." Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, and here's why: is because I I was eating, and like that it it stressed me out when they came and was like, "Would you like this meat?" Oh yeah, like, it was, ah! no, it did me too. Uh, Cause I don't like saying no, but you, it's up, it's literally they're serving you like they don't care. Right, I know. And, but for me, I'm like, you're being so nice, bringing me food. Of course, I'll take it when I can't even eat it and then I eat too much. <laughs> See, I can't have. And that's what happened. But like, it's so good. But no, it was it was kind of anxiety inducing. I d- I didn't I didn't like. Answering yes or no questions while I was trying while to, we're eating. to yeah, eat a no. meal. Seriously though, like well, um, especially as we were eating other things we just got, it was like I haven't finished my food yet. And with the mask, you couldn't really hear what they were the meats that they were saying. So it's like you, you kind of just like gotta like garlic mm. pork. I was like, are, <laughs> is that just a giant clove of garlic that you just brought out, or is it garlic and I mean it looks like pork maybe chicken i don't know because i can't i can't hear yeah. with the mass and you know there are other people um mm. um anyway yeah it stressed me out yeah did you see that uh that hot asian lady that sat uh across from us was she behind me she was in f- she would have been in front of you i think on the left yeah 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 she had two kids, I think. Well, some of the waitresses were pretty weird, too. Well, of course. Um, but I don't know. I was thinking about her because she had the two kids with her. I don't know if they were oh, both her yeah. kids or if one of them was there. But one of them was like, um, you know. The, <laughs> what? The, the. <laughs> Like, you know what? <laughs> no, I don't. You don't know, but the the uh uh the little kid was like was like really cute and like bubbly and shit. And then the older kid, he was this guy who was you know. I thought that was a husband. I thought that was a kid. Was that a grown man? I thought so. All I saw was a little kid being goofy and the parents. So. Was that a grown man? I don't know. I really wasn't. That changes the narrative. I wasn't paying like super close attention, so I could be wrong. But like, I'm, that's what I saw. Well, it if it was a kid, it was like a uh, a little stocky nerdy kid, and I was like, oh man, that that little the the younger the younger sibling is gonna get a lot more attention than you. I'm like, I hope that's okay with you, bud. But if... I mean, it's kind of still true if it's the husband. <laughs> but if it's the husband, I've got to say, you look like a fucking child. Which is fine. I just want you to know... Um, that... 
Well, you probably know life's been pretty hard. You bag the good one, though. All right. Uh, uh, let's move on. Yeah. Um, I have some notes. <sighs> I wrote some notes down. One is Emma Watson is attractive. I don't remember what I was thinking there. <laughs> well, that's just your brain on normals. Um, Emma Watson, hot. Yes. But I would like to say that Emma Watson is attractive. Of course she is. Yeah. Yeah. She's pretty great. She is pretty great. Um, and I've been thinking that since 2001. Well, I saw someone do heroin today. That See, that was the next thing on the list. Heroin and foil you made me write down. Tell me about so, it. So, I was at work and I'm supervising because people had shit to do and I need I just was the only one to cover it. Right. I look on the camera and there's a guy in our revolving door just like you know, looking sus. out there. Looking <laughs> sus. With like four bags. Was it was it uh the tit the what was it what her, was it was it Hermione Granger? No. Was it, was it Emma Watson? No. So Emma Watson wasn't in your revolving door. No. So someone who was homeless, and they were messing around. At first, I thought they were shooting up with needle, and then I thought, and then they, I'm pretty sure they peed on our sidewalk just oh. off camera. Yeah. And then they sat down again and. Uh, I thought that then I thought it was crack because I saw the glass pipe, but then they took out a piece of foil and a lighter, and I was like, oh, "This is not how I remember people smoking crack." Because I've seen them all do that. Do, you've before. seen them smoke crack, right? And um, with the so crack I pipe. I looked it up. The... I just wanted. I was like, "I wonder what that is," because it's you know yeah. good to know what they're overdosing on or whatever. If that for the happens, for the police that you need to call if it happens because it yeah. has happened. Um, so it turns out, and I never knew this before today, but you can or smoke heroin on EMTs rather foil. Yeah, you, you can, can smoke, smoke heroin, heroin on foil. foil. So you literally, literally, the description online matched exactly what this person did. You put the heroin on the foil, yeah, and basically the pipe is just a glass tube, and. So you put your lighter under the foil and inhale the basically burnt foil particles with the heroin in it. Ooh, yeah, it's that's rough. nasty. It's to be fair, I have inhaled foil. aluminum. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, it's, it's actually you know aluminum's in a lot of shit actually. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I didn't know that till today. And then I well, and also because we were watching him just to make sure things, you know, because it's one of our doorways, and um, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, if it, because at first I thought it was crack, and I was like, well, he's not acting like it's crack because it's usually aggressive and active. And, and they were like, Bleh. and they literally just was like, it was like C three PO shutting off, it was just <laughs> like into the sun. I, I was like that looks like heroin <laughs> and so it's the i mean it's the scene from train spotting of him going into the rug before just... they were doing that though yeah before they did that though i, I had gone down knocked on the window try got their attention didn't work so i was like well let's watch them um they yeah. went, then they went Blah. and i and after i watched them for a bit and then i went and checked on them to see if they were still alive because <laughs> you never know and you need to know who to and call. And I was like, are you okay? And they just like made noises. So yeah, just make sure they're okay. They're alive. And, yeah. and we called the city services and they came and talked to them. And they kind of woke up and were like, <laughs> But they, they gave, the city services people gave them a mask and a granola bar. Aww. And then they, the, the drug user left. <laughs> so it was just like. I like that they gave him a granola bar. Yeah, they do it for all, anyone they are called to talk to. Oh, That's why we call them, though, because otherwise we have to call the cops, and the cops don't Well, we don't, shit. yeah. 
I mean... I literally seen them drag someone out, uh, just away from our door. No granola bars given, by the way. No. They just, they pulled them out by their feet and were like, yeah, that's it. That's good. It's just, and these pe- most of the people around downtown are on something. A lot of heroin. It's pretty scary how much heroin I've seen downtown. Yeah. People shoot up all the time by the museum. Now, before this, did you think that you could only inject heroin? Well, you know, I knew about, like, Malcolm X T and stuff. Right. But I didn't really... And, well, and then there's opium, okay, so you, obviously you smoke that, which is yeah, the same thing. Yeah, from the John Wayne movies. Yeah, way, but you can still do that, but, like... The, with the long... Yeah. The long... Or the hookah. Um, but I didn't know you could, like smoke it like crack cocaine (laughs) right now what's the purpose of the tinfoil uh it goes it it's because it carries it to your brain somehow really i'm not i really can't remember it's it well it goes to your lungs and it somehow makes it i don't know i think maybe not though maybe that's not maybe i was reading something else because it, it might just be that it heats the heroin enough or something Mm -hmm. i've also written down realtors versus houses i don't know what that means today i also found out at work yeah (laughs) you're You're, you're learning a lot at work today you're so much at work all the time Um, yeah no but someone told me today that there are now more realtors in business than there are houses for sale in the u.s what yeah Wow. Well, insane. Why? I don't know. Did you read the article? No. I w- I want to look it up. I don't want. I just haven't had time. That's all a great. Long. That's a crazy fact. Yeah, I'll look it up later and yeah. get back to it. But it's just. I mean, I could imagine like maybe there are realtors who are part of like a some firm or whatever and. They just do like paperwork or something. Like, right. They like, don't actually. They're realtors, but they do the coffee in the morning. Or, yeah, or the filing or whatever. Like, they not, work not, for a realtor. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they each show houses some of the time, but they work for one company or right. something. They're like dark malls to the city. Plus, that could be a random statistic because. Housing statistics are constantly changing, so it could easily go back to now. There are a lot of houses on the market, or something. Okay, so also is it houses for sale or houses and just houses that exist for sale? Okay, no, there's still a pretty crazy number, but yeah, but um, I also think it's a statistic right now because fewer people are selling right now because no less people. There's less demand for housing. Because of coronavirus, no one wants to move. Uh, so prices are going up um, quite a bit. Because most people aren't, they don't want to risk moving with coronavirus. And what does all this mean? Uh, I don't know. But we don't have, our housing system sucks. Right. Um. Emma Watson's so hot. I know. But you know who else? Is hot? Yeah. Eva Green. Oh my god. Well, of course, Eva Green. I like Eva Green. Oh my god. Uh, But, I mean, I think I'd rather Emma Watson. Eva Green for me. Really? Yeah. Over Emma Watson? Yeah. Give me your reasons. I honestly don't know. You don't know? Is it a looks thing? Kind of. What about it? Is it Ava Green's double D's? Oh, it's, uh... If I were to say anything... They're both very attractive, okay? This is not saying anything. But, like, I think it's Emma Watson's chin. She has a perfect chin. 
babe. I don't know. You're asking me a question. I really don't know. I'm telling you the best thing I could come up with. What about Emma Watson's chin do you not like? <laughs> Organ repairs. What does that mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> one of my coworkers is in a band. And they have an organ. <laughs> they have an organ. Yeah, like the piano organ. Yeah, I know what an organ is, but yeah, no, I just want to make sure it's not like bodily organs. <laughs> and it breaks all the time, so they have to get it fixed. But guess how many organ repair places there are? <laughs> I'm gonna take the over on this, and I'm gonna say three hundred. That we know of, he and I. There are two, one in Tacoma, and one... Tacoma's far. Yeah, and one in, like, Sandpoint, near the university up here. That's closer. Yeah, but he was going to the Tacoma one for years because... Well, he didn't know about the other one, so he didn't know about the other one. And both places are only open, like, nine to five weekdays only, so he... (laughs) Whenever they had to fix the organ, he would have to take a day off of work so he could go do it, take it down there. And get That's it a fixed. brilliant business because where the fuck else are you going to go? Yeah. If you have an organ, you want... But how many people have organs they want fixed, too? That's true. You gotta... It's kind of a... That? So are you saying I overshot it with the 300? I wonder how many there organs... There are probably more, them. but there are only two that we know of. In the area. Yeah. But I want to know in the country... How many organ repair shops are there? I bet there are a bunch on the East Coast. <laughs> there are right, old churches older, back there. Yeah. Um, there are a bunch in Europe, I'm sure. I feel like uh, organs, I think I've heard that they're notoriously... Uh, hard to fix. Hard to fix, but break a lot. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've heard they're hard to fix because you're literally adjusting a lot of different parts. Mm-hmm. Depending on the type of organ, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got crossfados with Barbados today. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I smoked a little weed. I had a little rum. Uh, and this was before Fogo did Chow. What's in that? This is beer, actually. This is... Uh, <laughs> I'm having Guinness left over from St. Patty's Day. Yeah. Um... Yeah, no, I had rum, and I had, uh, I still had a, I had a beer left over from last night that I didn't finish, um, smartly, because, like, I, I didn't feel great this morning, but I would have felt more not great if I had that last one. Yeah. Um, and then I had a lot of weed, (laughs) and then I went to the mall, and I bought a really big Lego set. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm glad you're excited for it because it was It's so a cool. little pricey. Uh, it's a blacksmith. It's a medieval blacksmith. It's I don't so know if cool. you've seen the set. I'll put a picture here. I love it. Somewhere. I'll put a picture. Um, and it is fucking beautiful. Also... We have the huge Hogwarts castle in our closet. We have so. and that we haven't put together yet because we don't because it. it's huge and we don't. It's easier to just leave it in the box for now. Yeah, yeah. Same with the other one. Actually. It takes up less space in the box. I know, but I want to put that together. I know, but we'll have our own place soon, and uh, we can actually display things properly. Like we can have a bookshelf just for like. Any of our figures. Right. Right. Um, Edgar Rice Burroughs is pretty racist. Which I don't like to admit because I love uh, his work. I love Tarzan and I love John Carter. But I just started reading his Venus series. Yeah. Which is later. Later than both of those. And, uh... (laughs) Dude didn't hold back, really. It was it's it's almost upsetting for me to read. It's funny because did he display any of these uh, tendencies in John Carter? No, that's what I can't. I 
can't I bet there's out. some racism in Tarzan. I've never read Tarzan. I haven't actually read Tarzan either. But, well, and there, maybe there's some things in John Carter that could be like... Well, here's the thing about John Carter. So, the one thing I liked that they put in the movie was in the book, too, where he's on the side of Native Americans most of the time. Right. So, it's like, okay, this guy's cool. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. And then he goes to Mars, and it's like, he's he sides with the Native people there against mm-hmm. the tyrants and stuff. Anyways, and, the, and he makes friends with four-armed aliens, like... Yeah, so, and then... Even though he was a confederate, right? Yeah. Well, and that's something, too, actually, sidetrack, but, like, for all the things, it's it's just something funny. So all those people are like, this is the awful rise again, and, like, the shitty confederate people that are... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. A little, uh... Racist. But the thing is, is people that... Like, not necessarily, it's hard to say it, and and it's, because it just doesn't sound right, but, like, people who were Confederates at the time weren't necessarily, like, uh, agreeing with everything. Just, like, people in the Union were definitely racist. (laughs) Oh, so, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't know enough about it. I will say, though, that if you were a Confederate, you were probably still racist regardless. I want to make some jokes off I'm just the... saying they may not have agreed with everything that was going on. Right. I, I don't know. I was reading it somewhere. It was, it was just an interesting... But it's more so about the Union soldiers, because we tend to paint them in this really, like, pure light. And, and I'm sure some of them yeah. were. More, more uh, on yeah, the pure side. But, but a lot uh, of them were definitely racist. Well, I mean. It's the time it was. Just, yeah. And anyways, the freaking uh, uh, Carson of Venus, the book, it's just. It's dumb? I don't know. It's not. It's kind of a bummer. Like, it's not as good as John Carter. Uh huh. And. In the in the, like, so if the first thing was him calling Hispanic people like simple in so many words. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I'm just like, which in the funny thing is though when he does it, it's ironically he makes fun of himself on accident. So this book was written in the 30s. Yeah. Um, in it, Carson uses a rocket to get off of Earth. Okay. <laughs> but the way the rocket takes off. Isn't the way a rocket takes off? No. It's on a track, it, laying sideways, first of all. It's the air. So it's laying sideways on a track, and it's like, it's supposed to, like, it has jet engines. What is it, horizontal? Yeah. It's laying down uh, on a track, and it. It has engines, so those, but the, they fire and like take it down a hill, and it like goes off a ramp into the air to take off. And in the book, it works because it's a it's a book. It's the most dangerous version of Space Mountain yet. Yeah, it's just it's so goofy. And then it, so he's like, and all all the Mexican people couldn't figure out why it wasn't standing upright if I wanted to take off into space. <laughs> like, as if that were the wrong thing. Right. <laughs> but but in, in reality, reality... It's the right thing. It's the right thing. So I he's, like, was trying that... to make fun of, like, these Mexican guys' intelligence, but he ends up making himself look stupid. <laughs> but only because of the passage of time. Now, was that on purpose? I don't know, because it was written before we had rockets. rockets. Holy shit, so it probably wasn't. Yeah, he probably... He probably thought that that's the way you do do it. Do you remember the movies we put on with Kevin and Brady and they have like a rocket that's sideways because that's how they thought you would take off on the rocket? (laughs) 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 Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And then the the only person in a like flight suit at all was the woman. (laughs) Just like... (laughs) 
those stupid motherfuckers yeah. in Mexico never. <laughs> Never figure it out. You have to launch the rocket sideways. <laughs> it's so, it's, it was so ridiculous. And I was like, what the fuck? And so I, I'm like, okay, whatever. And I go through the rest of the book. And like, it's pretty okay because he lands on the planet and he's like, he runs into some monsters and the native people save him from them. And he's pretty nice about them at first in his descriptions but he's like he has to say basically the not the n-word but like i hate it when people say the origin of that word as well right you know what i'm talking about i think so it just yeah and so he basically says that and i was like because he's describing their like skin tones and he's like they're tan but not as dark as meh yeah, and I'm like, well, you didn't have, what the fuck? It's rough. Yeah. Um, so you have to do that. And I was like, oh my god, again? And so he goes through the whole thing, talk, and he goes and learns right. more about these people and stuff. And then... Stick with Mars, dude. Uh, what was the, oh, yeah, so it goes through a whole bunch of stuff, but he ends up... Um, captured on a ship later mm-hmm. with some of his these people that he's already met right uh and they they plan to like rebel against these their captors and they call themselves like some stupid like the freedom fighters that's dumb <laughs> i know i was like that's what you came up with <laughs> for these guys it's a way to fight so but then in the language they speak on venus uh-huh. He says that the initials to translate that name are three K sounds, and he like jokingly is like, "It reminded me of a certain organization on Earth." I was like, "Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? You didn't like the, the, You didn't even have to draw that comparison. There's no, t- <laughs> there's no connection besides the." fucking language that you made up like I was so upset and I, I, it ruined the whole moment for me I was like first thing we did to Freedom Fighters then you had to do that I'm like you, I hope you fucking stay on this sh- ship and kidnap <laughs> I want to know where he was in life when that's, you wrote that that's what I want to I was like did you join the K- KK or something like what happened well maybe not I just he was a lot older I will say that so, right. Um, but I even, wonder if he was doing this one for cash. Like. Even so, I probably it's just so weird. Like I want to read, I want to be more into it, but he keeps reading it with stuff like that, and I'm like, okay, maybe that's the last time. It's not. I'm just like, how much worse is this gonna get? Because he hasn't even like met in person the woman who's like the main shake of the story too what's this guy's name carson yeah carson's just hanging out up there <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he's also like kind of full of himself because yeah. he's like these because th- so first well, john of all, carter was a little full of himself yeah but he talks about it less he's usually like i was fucking lucky <laughs> yeah he was yeah yeah, yeah that's fair <laughs> this guy is like these guys are they, I couldn't explain things to them because they're just they couldn't wrap their heads around it kind of thing which uh, he's not wrong because these people that he's met on Venus are basically in the stage of humanity where they haven't um, they, they don't have their Galileo yet so they think their their planet is flat assuming that anything um, everything is trying to evolve into a human they're, yeah, they're humanoid. Right, you okay, know. yeah. They're, they're human, but they're yeah. v- Venusins. Sure. And, um... Uh... Shoot, where was I? Uh... So they think their planet's flat. Right. Um. Also because they've never seen the actual, like, night sky. They don't, they've never seen... Because Venus has... In this book, by the way, this is not... 
this is the funny thing is there's no science in this. Oh, book. I'm sorry. the the rocket The rockets shooting si- sideways didn't. Yeah. So, but there's two layers of clouds over all of Venus all the time, which protects them. <laughs> but the so the, actually the cool thing about that that fantasy uh-huh. is these two cloud layers because they're super thick like water mm-hmm. um super dense clouds and they allow for an actual climate on venus because it's so close to the sun so sometimes rifts in the clouds open and in the book they talk about it and the, the venus people are like yeah sometimes if there's a rift in the cloud it literally like sets shit on fire <laughs> Stay tuned for the 100th episode where we talk about this exact book with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Anyways, it's just... Uh, he So he's he's learned this, that they think their plan is flat. And he's like, well, I came from space. And they're basically telling him, like, you're, you're, <laughs> you're funny. Like, you're nuts. And he's... The whole time he's like, All right, they, they're, they just don't have the intellect to wrap their heads around it yet which like for the science stuff not the race stuff by the way no (laughs) he's not wrong but also like he just he's really full of himself and it drives me it's really annoying it's not the same kind of boldness that john carter but because john carter was just kind of like he's bold he's bold rather he's right not arrogant right i think i yeah i get that i get it he is proud i think i think john carter has a pretty good Mm self-esteem i want that um especially because he saw deja thoris and was like yeah i'm good enough for her (laughs) no (laughs) well he he didn't actually actually he was like i'm not but he loved her anyways and she happened to think wow you're hot (laughs) Yeah, you're the first guy to love Deja fucking Thoris. Yeah. Anyways. Um. That's my day. <laughs> I'm so upset at that book. You know why I left when I got back from getting the ticket for the car wash? Yeah. You oh, do know? yeah. Yeah, what happened? Nothing, really. I, it was just... I went in there, and I go up to this guy, the... The clerk. The clerk. And I go, can I get a, uh, can I get a ticket for the car wash? And he goes, yes. And then we just sit there in silence. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> and then I go, can I get that here? Because I thought the sign said that I could get it in here. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I go, all right. Um, swear to God. Oh my I god. I go, can I do that then? That's not nothing, babe. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went, yes. Would you like silver? Gold? Or VIP? <laughs> I went, VIP. I had to think about it. I had to remember that. <laughs> he was just trying to remember the options. Maybe, maybe. And he was like, give me a minute. And you're like, can I get it? No, I wasn't like that. I, oh, I know. I, I, I'm just I, thinking I, it. The, the way I said it on the first time was how I said it. Babe, I know. I'm just making it goofy. Because I just imagined him standing there and like, shit. What, what are the names of the prices? <laughs> Silver? Gold? Gold? VIP. <laughs> I went VIP. Give me the fu- oh give me the fucking God. works, guy. Wow. Give me the works. Yeah. That's funny. So that's why I laughed when I got back in the car. It's <laughs> not nothing, man. It's so funny. Just staring at each other. Yeah. No, we were dead in the eye. Beautiful, beautiful brown eyes. Um. I think that's the show. Yeah, I think so. I think that's I'm the really show. Tired. Hey, thank you, uh, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, much love. Yeah. Um, join us. 
please mm-hmm. um, Next time. subscribe you know do the bell smash Aaron, that like button don't, sma- don't smash the like button <laughs> Let look at me don't fucking sm- bro lightly tap th- bruh lightly tap the like button if you like it um if you don't that's fine but don't be too mad don't be too mean about it in the comments i mean i guess you can that's your prerogative um aaron's on instagram at aaron.chroma i'm on instagram at ride dragon five oh i i need to look it up seriously ryan mc i think i'm ryan mc that's aaron Mm -hmm. um do you want to count down this time count the out three two no 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 thanks you're beautiful i want to fuck you i want to i want to fucking put my my fingers in you better not forget that you did this. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm going to put this in. Why? Why not? It's so mean. <laughs> what do you mean? What's mean about it? It's terrifying. <laughs> Am I terrifying or mean? Both. Good night.